the night you know you in trouble Ain't nothing but a chem thing, baby, baby. Too flipped out, teachers going crazy. crazy Lancaster is a district that pays me Unbreakable, so please don't try to break hey. this But uh, back to the lecture at hand Hello and welcome to our very, not the screen, the camera's over there. Oh, uh, okay. Hello and welcome to our first episode of Shu Fu Review for You. We're your hosts, Mr. Schulenberg, aka Shu, and Mr. Fuqua, aka Mr. Fu. Our goal in making these videos was to condense all the information in chemistry into the key concepts needed to be successful on the Regents exam. We'll go through and briefly explain each concept. Each concept will be followed by an actual Regents questions taken from old exams that illustrate how that key concept is assessed. You will take fill in the blank notes which are designed to help you maintain focus on what is being explained by Shu and myself. You will then answer the questions that follow the concept and are expected to have them done for class tomorrow. Ready? Shu know it. Atomic structure, key concept one. The modern model of the atom has evolved over a long period of time through the work of many scientists. We can start things off with Dalton. Dalton had no protons, neutrons, or electrons, so we call his model the hard sphere model. Next up, we have Thomson, who in his cathode ray tube experiment discovered the electron, giving us the plum pudding model as a result. We have Rutherford next, who in his gold foil experiment determined that there was a dense center called the nucleus, surrounded by mostly empty space. Next, we have Bohr. Bohr determined that the electron exists in specific energy levels through observing line spectrum. And finally, we have our modern model, sometimes called the electron cloud or wave mechanical model, and that has the electron in a region of space called an orbital. Atomic structure key concept number two. In the modern model of the atom, there is mostly empty space with a dense, positively charged area called the nucleus. Now this is the part where New York State really wants you to know Ernest Rutherford. His experiment being the gold foil experiment. He bombarded gold foil with alpha particles. Now what he noticed was that almost all of the alpha particles went straight through the foil. There were very few that got deflected even back in the direction that they were fired from. Now that led Rutherford to two conclusions. One being that the atom was mostly empty space because the alpha particles went straight through, and the other being that there must be a very small, very dense, positively charged speck, little area, that he dubbed the nucleus that deflected the alpha particles. Atomic structure, key concept three. The model of the atom has progressed from the hard sphere to the wave mechanical electron cloud model. The Regents really wants you to know your models and the order in which they appear. So again, we have the hard sphere model that starts things off, followed by the plum pudding model, then the nuclear model, followed by the Bohr or planetary model, followed by our modern electron cloud or wave mechanical model. Atomic structure key concept four. Atoms contain three subatomic particles. The positive proton and the neutral neutron, which are found in the nucleus, are also referred to as nucleons. Now this really is straightforward, guys. The proton, you want to remember, has a positive charge. This is what gives the nucleus its overall positive charge. Neutral, neutrons, it implies neutral, has a charge of zero. Atomic structure, key concept five. The third subatomic particle is the negatively charged electron, which are found in regions of space outside the nucleus called orbitals. 
Now the Regents really wants you to know the definition of an orbital, and an orbital is a region of space where the electron is most likely to be found. They look like clouds. Atomic structure key concept six. The proton and the neutron both have a mass of one atomic mass unit, U. Well, the electron has very little mass, about 1 U. Now the proton and the neutron having a mass of one and being located in the nucleus means all the mass of that atom is concentrated in that small nucleus. Now the electron has very little mass by comparison. So when we're taking into account the overall mass of an atom, we say that the electron has a mass of zero. Atomic structure, key concept seven. The proton and electron have equal but opposite charges. The number of protons equals the number of electrons in an atom. They are not equal in ions. So in an atom, which is neutral, the protons and the electrons are equal in number and they cancel each other out. But in an ion, we have different numbers of protons and electrons. If there are more electrons than protons, we have a negative ion. And if there are fewer electrons than protons, we have a positive ion. Atomic structure key concept eight. The number of protons determines the element. It is known as the atomic number. Now for an element like carbon, carbon has six protons. Now if you have an element that has something different than six protons, you don't have carbon, you have something else. All right, so always remember the number of protons is what tells you the element. The atomic number can also be found in the lower left of every element square on your periodic table. Atomic structure key concept nine. The sum of the protons and neutrons of an atom is the mass number of the atom. Unlike atomic mass, mass number is always a whole number. Now, as Mr. Fu said earlier, like atomic number, we have a count because we're just adding up whole particles, protons and neutrons. Atomic structure key concept 10. Atoms with the same atomic number but different mass numbers are called isotopes. Now, isotopes are atoms that have the same number of protons, but they have different neutrons. Now that different number of neutrons gives rise to the fact that they have different masses. Okay? Now isotopes, the notation can be shown in two different ways. One way would be to have the element symbol, and in the upper left would be the mass number. Another way would be to have the element symbol, followed by a dash, and the mass number. Atomic structure key concept 11. The atomic mass of an element is the weighted average of the naturally occurring isotope of that element. So we want to take that percentage and make it a decimal, and we're going to multiply it by the mass given. We'll do that for all the different isotopes, then we'll add them up. At the end, we should expect to see a decimal number with the units U. Atomic structure key concept 12. Each electron in an atom has its own distinct amount of energy. So electrons in the first shell have their distinct amount of energy, where electrons in the second, third, fourth, and so on have a little bit more energy than each successive electron. Atomic structure, key concept 13. The most energetic electrons are the outermost electrons, which are called the valence electrons. So every energy shell, as I move away from the nucleus, gets higher in energy. As I get to my last shell, those have the highest energy, and we have to remember that those are called the valence electrons. Atomic structure key concept 14. The number of valence electrons affect the chemical properties of the element. Now as Shu said before, those valence electrons are in the outermost shell. And if those outermost shell electrons are the same number of electrons for each of those elements, they are said to have similar chemical properties. Now those elements that have the same number of outermost electrons are found in the same groups or columns on the periodic table. Atomic structure key concept 15. When electrons occupy the lowest available energy level, the atom is said to be in the ground state. Now I want to remind you of something. When you look at your reference tables on the periodic table, and you find an atom's electron configuration, automatically those electron configurations have to be in the ground state, not the excited state. 
Atomic Structure Key Concept 16. If an atom gains energy and one or more electrons are moved to a higher energy level, the atom is said to be in the excited state. Now as Shu just got done explaining, the ground state electron configuration for all of the elements is found in your periodic table on your reference tables. Now your job will be to compare the electron configurations they're giving you to the ones on your reference tables. Now it's important to note that the excited state has the same number of electrons total as it did in the ground state. The difference is at least one or more of those electrons have moved to a higher energy state further from the nucleus. Atomic structure key concept 17. When electrons return to the ground state from the excited state, they emit light, or photons, that can be observed as spectral lines. So if you imagine an electron in the ground state close to the nucleus, energy will be added. It will go into the excited state first, but when it falls back down to go into the ground state again, it's going to give off that extra energy. It's a specific amount of energy that we call a photon, and because it's a specific amount of energy, we observe them as bands of color on a line spectrum. Atomic Structure Key Concept 18. Spectral lines can be used to identify an element. Spectral lines can also be thought of as the fingerprints of the elements. Now as Shu just told us, spectral lines are formed as electrons go from excited state into ground state, releasing photons, producing those spectral lines. Now on a Regents exam, you will be given a spectra of an unknown substance or even a mixture. Your job will be to take that spectra and compare it to known element spectra that they will give you. Match up those lines and you'll have your answer. But we never off, but we zone to the break of dawn. S C I E N C E in the hall, they call S Wing. You know we never wear a tie like my homies, boys, two men. It's so hard to say goodbye. Like, like this, that, and this, and uh, it's like that, and like this, and like that, and uh, it's like this. You're going in low power mode. Plug in chill to the next episode.